Oh my god, my brother made the discovery of a lifetime. It is said that Viking King Harold Bluetooth made all Danes Christian. At least, if we are to believe this runestone raised by the king himself. Today, the two Vikings are investigating a sacred pagan sanctuary. We are metal detecting around some churches originally built in the 11th and the 12th century. We are trying to find some evidence that there really were pagan folks around here before the churches were built. Usually they were built in sacred spots. So maybe there has been a cult site here with people dancing around naked and eating mushrooms or whatever they did back then. Let's stop talking and start digging. This could be what I've been waiting for, for a very long time. I think I see a gigantic hammered silver coin. <sighs> oh man, I can see some, some symbols. That's not a button like those hundreds of times before. An enormous silver coin. It screams old, it screams old, wow. Do you guys see this? What, what's up with this weather in Denmark? I think that's Mastodon Silver. What will... Wow, that's a cross. Christian coin. Wow, ha 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 ha. That's old. That's old silver. That's old silver in the hole, baby. Let's flip it over. Give the other side a wash. This is really ancient, man. This is a good find. My brother ran over to admire my coin. Yeah, it's really nice. I had to detect backwards. There was such a breeze. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Uh hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's go crazy with the water. I'm gonna take it back to the True Vikings research lab and have a look. The research lab staff confirmed this coin to be from Crusader France. It was minted sometimes between 1270 and 1285. And that's exactly the time when France was involved in the Crusades in the holy country. I'm gonna call this a Crusader coin maybe even a Templar Knight coin. Templar treasure. The treasure is out here somewhere. Maybe right there. I might deserve a thumbs up for this, guys. It feels that way at least. Maybe there? Nope. Iron. <sighs> I found something with huge implications. That is a spinning whirl. These are usually at least medieval, likely to be much older than that. This is a good indicator that we're on ancient ground. I think it's probably a girl between 20 25 who dropped this. Probably blonde as well. Very nice. Right next to the spindle whirl, I found this chunky pot leg. These are typically medieval. This means that not only was my new blonde girlfriend good at mending clothes, she was also an excellent cook. Maybe a hot carrot soup for a windy day like this. The church bells just started ringing. Uh, it's either mass or someone saw Jesus come back already. Both of these finds are very exciting. I know I'm onto a good spot. Let's keep digging and stop chit-chatting. Christian went all the way to the Viking Age with his find. That's a fibula, right? Yeah, I think it's part of a Urnes fibula. Urnes, 
is the last great Viking Age style towards the end of the Viking Age and it's also the one that you'll see on all the rune stones everything associated with Vikings nowadays the funny thing that that style was just a short period of time but still we associate the whole Viking Age with that particular style almost down to China in that hole and that's what I pulled up a massive nail for real true Vikings <laughs> that's gigantic oh my god my brother made the discovery of a lifetime oh all smiles and happy faces yes. have a look at this oh my god that's silver silver old silver it's I think a it's from Bruges Christian there he found a similar one last year it has hands small tiny fingers there and a late medieval brooch silver with gold plating can you see how it shines there still after what 700 years originally would have been with a pin here across it's a crazy world isn't it someone had written a publication about these buckles they are from the 1300s and they are called Ave Maria buckles because they typically have an inscription that says help me Mary the funny thing is that Christian found the other part of this buckle last year in the same field I will put a photo of it here and the museum is exactly where this boy will be heading next with the treasure train yeah, and it's an upper pocket find, you know, it goes here. What a versatile place this is. Here we have some finds that prove people have been here for centuries. So first we have some ceramics, possibly Iron Age with that pattern. Next, not a bone, but that is a clay pipe clay pipes were first introduced in the 1600s when the returning soldiers from the 30 years war brought them home and that's when people started to smoke tobacco from pipes so roughly 16 or 1700s and here we have something probably same time period maybe later a really large musket ball made out of lead Musket balls have been used for many centuries from the roughly 1500s all the way to the early 1800s when they got replaced by rifled bullets when the rifle came along. Technology progressed. Whoopie doo doo, silver. And it looks like it is Swedish silver. 1870 something? 25 euro. Swedish silver in Denmark. How cool is that? 25 out of pure silver. Really nice. First I thought I found a piece of trash, but upon further inspection I'm almost convinced it's a Viking Age Urnes fibula again. I can see it would fit in there somehow with all the other fibulae things there in the Urnes one. Not a bad find for a farm boy like me. I got a nice looking lead relic. Not sure what it is, but the shape is very curious. Whatever it is, I believe the bottom part here is missing. That top side there looks a little bit like Pac-Man actually. Oh well, it's cool, whatever it is. The Ave Maria buckle that my brother found proves that Christians really have been here. The church might have been a huge giveaway also, but what really is interesting here is that Christian's Urnes fibula from the Viking Age confirms that real pagan Vikings were here before they built the churches. What a great conclusion to yet another true Vikings episode. Pagan Vikings confirmed. Oh my god, storm picked up, better go home. I'm gonna be back next week with yet another video. If you like this one, consider subscribing and liking. And I will see you guys in a week.
take care, happy hunting, true Vikings, over and out.